Right, hi there, I'm Peter Sidwell. It is Meat Free Monday. Now, the phenomenon that is, a lot of people are now trying to cut back a little bit on their meat consumption. I personally don't eat like tons of meat, but what I do is when I do eat it, I really enjoy it. But so today, I'm in the test kitchen um, here in the studio and I'm going to cook two dishes. One that I'm going to take home tonight uh, and my family are going to eat for dinner. Uh, and the other one is a pasta dish that we're going to do. And the reason why I'm doing two is because while one's cooking, I can cook another dish. So you get buy one, get one free. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to create a melanzana bake. So not the true, authentic, traditional Italian melanzana or parmigiana that, that the Italians would make. So sorry about that, Italy. Uh, but it's inspired by. And it's a much simpler, easier, midweek kind of way of doing things. I don't know about you, but during the week it's all quite busy um, and it, it's good to have a dish that's kind of 10-15 minutes prep in the oven done. Um, and then the other dish while that's cooking, we're going to do a really beautiful uh, walnut roasted garlic and rocket pasta dish. So just really nice ingredients brought together, which is usually for me is great cooking. So I've got some egg based pasta. Um, that um, a friend of mine has given me from an Italian import company. This pasta, by the way, is really good for sort of holding its structure and staying a bit firmer when it's cooked, whereas just your straight durum wheat pasta, sometimes it kind of breaks down. So we're going to give this a try today. I've not tried it. So that's in. That's going to cook for nine minutes. While that's cooking, we're going to get our melanzana bake done. So... I've got a tray ready to go in. So melanzana is maybe aubergines, mozzarella and basil. So what I'm gonna do is, look, we can just crop into there. So you can see what I'm doing with the aubergine. We just chop that. We're gonna cut it into quarters, okay? And then we're just gonna chop that into maybe one centimetre slices, okay? So while I'm going as well, anybody live who wants to ask me any questions about this dish, fire them off because I've got my iPad here and it's kind of all linked in and we can edit it and I can answer your questions while I'm cooking. So, in with our aubergines. And then we're going to season them off, get the water out and the best thing for that is with salt. Okay, so really get all the moisture out. I'm going to do another one as well. So again, slice it right down the middle, into quarters. Aubergine's one of those that if you cook it right, it's delicious. You cook it wrong, it's not good. It needs to be well cooked. If you undercook aubergine, it's not so good. Okay. So we'll let that cook. So we're going to get those in. We get loads and loads of cooking on that. So. Just put that on full whack. And we'll get the pasta on full as well. Okay, so let that cook. So that's not going to take too long. Okay, so while the aubergines are cooking, I'm just getting a little bit of colour on those. I'm going to prepare the other ingredients. So I've got one big beef tomato. And the reason why I chose this is there's very little water in these. And I don't want a really watery, wet bake. So we're going to just cut these tomatoes into chunks, not too big. Um, and just they're just going to add a bit of moisture, but a bit of flavour, so that it's just got a nice mix. So slice them that way, almost like you're making chips. And then we're going to cut them that way as well. And then they end up into nice little dice. You could use other tomatoes if you wanted to, but this works pretty well. We'll just slice these up. Okay, spread them out a little bit. There we go. And we'll season these up as well. So, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Good. And then I'm going to take a clove of garlic and we will just move all this along. Oh, there we go. So chop the garlic, just run your knife all the way through it. There we 
go and just sit it on the tomatoes and we'll mix those together. Okay. So a little bit of oil in with the aubergines. There we go. Nice. Now it really starts to sound like it's cooking. And look, you can see we've got some colour on those aubergines straight away, which is what we want. Start to get rid of the bitterness. Because on their own, they're quite bitter. Right, so our tomatoes can go straight into the into the bowl there. And then I've got a ball of mozzarella, so fresh mozzarella, and I'm just gonna dice this up. Now normally with a melanzana, you would char grill slices of aubergine, you'd wrap it up with a slice of mozzarella and a basil leaf. But this is quick, midweek, meat-free Monday, so it's all nice and easy. So we'll add that mozzarella in there. And then I'm going to take some fresh basil leaves. This is what's going to give it a really lovely light fragrance. I've got a little bit of parsley here as well. Might as well use that. So we'll chop that up. Okay, so straight in the bowl there. What I am going to do is add a little bit of salad dressing to this as well. I think I'm going to get some really nice flavour. Okay, so I've got a little bit raspberry mint. So it's a nice little bit of fragrance. And just dress it like you would a salad. Okay, and that's it. Just a little bit. Okay, there's my aubergines. are nearly done. Just giving them a good bit of colour. Start that whole cooking process. So mix the tomatoes, the mozzarella, the basil in the dressing. That's it. Perfect. So, they are nearly cooked. Right, I'm going to get some bread. I'm going to make some bread crumbs and just kind of top it so it all goes nice and crispy. Bit of a different texture. So we don't need tons, just a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to cut it into pieces just to give it a head start. And I'm going to find a little garlic clove because I quite like it when you mix together raw garlic and breadcrumbs, I think you get a really, really lovely texture. And you get a credible flavour. Okay, so straight in the food processor. On the lid. Just let that down. I'm just going to add a little bit of oil in there as well. Well, maybe that will help them crisp up really, really well. Okay, that'll do. Not too fine. You want quite a coarse texture. Okay, aubergines have got a nice bit of colour on now. So we'll add those straight into the pan. We're going to leave that pan on there for the next dish. And then just mix the whole thing around. So all the aubergines, all the tomatoes, the mozzarella, the lot. Okay? And this is why this is simple, midweek kind of stuff. So, just pour it out onto there. Okay? And then I've got a really beautiful sauce. Now, this is um, the best tomato sauce I've ever come across. It's made by Menu in Italy. Um, for any of you that are watching in Cumbria, go to Shields in Cockermouth and you can buy it by the can. If you can't get it in your local deli, ask them to get it. IB Foods will happily supply it to them for you. And all I'm doing is just spooning it on. I'm not messing about, I'm not sort of affecting the sauce at all. This sauce is just beautiful. It's made in August in Italy when all the tomatoes are delicious. So pretty much open the tin and just cook with it, it's delicious. Okay, breadcrumbs on the top. There we go. So we're going to get a really lovely crisp texture. And they're laced with a little bit of rapeseed oil as well. And then Parmesan cheese or a type of Parmesan. This one is a vegetarian one, so we're okay. Pop that on top and this will work as a seasoning as well. There we go. And then straighten the oven for about 35-40 minutes. 
and that will be ready and that will be absolutely delicious. I will post a photo on the website of the end result so you can see it, but it is that easy. Okay, so we're also gonna make a walnut dish. So my pasta is nearly ready. Okay, so let's have a quick white round and then we're ready to go on that one as well. Let's give that a quick white. Okay, so I've got my pan getting hot still. I'm gonna add some rapeseed oil in there. This is mellow yellow. It's got quite a nice sort of buttery flavor almost. I think it's really nice for this dish, it works well. Okay, I'm gonna add my walnuts in. And just give them a stir, let the heat come out of the pan a touch, because you don't want it to get too hot. I've got a little bit of butter in there as well. Just like 10 grams, just to kind of as a little treat and just to bring out all the flavours. So we'll just stir those walnuts. What we're trying to do is get them super crunchy. Because when they're super crunchy, they are delicious. Okay, a little bit of salt to bring the nutty flavour out. A little bit of pepper in there as well. And that's it. Lovely. Okay, so they're not far off, done. So let me just put that on there. Really, if your pan's hot, it doesn't take long to cook. I'll just put that on there for a second. Okay, so what I've got here is some garlic that I have just baked in the oven. I have no tricks, nothing. Just put them straight in the oven, 160 degrees for 45 minutes, and now they're beautifully soft and squidgy, okay? So I'm actually gonna squeeze two of these out over the walnuts, okay? So just squeeze the whole thing, like toothpaste. Just squeeze the lot out, okay? That's it. Done. Nice and easy. Sorry, Chris, I don't want to burn your chopping board that you made me. Okay, so we're just going to give that a really nice mix together. So the sweetness of the roasted walnuts and the garlic are going to work really well together to make a delicious, light, crisp sauce. Okay, and you can see the walnuts are getting super yummy there, and all crunchy, and you can break a few up with your spoon if you want to. Right, so, pasta is cooked, nine minutes in salted boiling water. A tiny little bit of this cooking water in here will help bring the whole thing together. And the starchiness of the water and, make, and the butter will make a nice creamy sauce without adding cream. Okay, so in with our pasta. We can get rid of that now. Put that all to one side. There we go. So, roasted walnuts, garlic. Oh, it smells absolutely amazing. Really, really good. Okay, so we're going to try and add some real good flavour in here now. So we've got a Parmesan style cheese. So we'll add that in. And that will kind of marry and melt in with the butter and the water. Okay. And then I've got a big handful of rocket. Nice peppery, mustardy type leaf. We don't want to cook this, we just want to chop it like a herb almost. Okay. And then we add that straight in as well. Go and then we'll mix that together, and that is ready to serve. So I'll just grab a bowl. Matt's getting hungry, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 right, what I am going to do is just add a final little bit. So, what we've got in here is we've got lots of flavour, we've got lots of richness, a little bit of lemon juice will just kind of help give a little bit of acidity through. Not a lot, don't squeeze loads in, just a touch. Okay, and then we'll serve that up. And there we go. That is a super healthy, super tasty, super quick pasta dish. Roasted garlic, walnut and rocket leaf.